On behalf of MCW Libraries, I'm going to share some tips about how to get more out of PubMed. This video will provide MCW users with five tips on how to efficiently and effectively search PubMed. Our first tip is to use the PubMed linkout links found on the library's website or on our LibGuides. PubMed Linkout connects you to our electronic journal subscriptions. If we subscribe to the journal article, clicking the green Get It button will send you to the full text of the article. If we don't have a subscription, the Get It button will send you to a page where you can request a copy of the article through Clio, our interlibrary loan management system. Tip two is to make sure that your search is translated in a way that PubMed understands. If I plug my question into Google, I see many search results. However, entering the same question into PubMed shows me very few results. Search engines like Google use natural language processing to interpret your search strategy. This type of searching is done behind the scenes using sophisticated proprietary search algorithms. Past searches can affect the results that you see. Databases like PubMed use Boolean logic to interpret your search and to retrieve relevant articles. This type of searching is very transparent and there's documentation that shows how your search terms were put together. Search results are consistently applied to each search regardless of your past behavior. I can perform a better search by stripping out any extra words and only including the basic concepts that are relevant to my question. In this example of what is the efficacy of masks in preventing the spread of COVID-19, I would only search masks and COVID. I might consider including synonyms for these concepts because authors can use different terminology to describe them. I would connect the synonyms with the Boolean operator or. This video won't go into how to search using Boolean operators, but you can learn more on our guided literature search LibGuide. Tip three is to take advantage of the filters in PubMed to narrow down the results you're seeing. In our instance of PubMed Linkout, we include filters for specific study types. Scroll down a little further to see the filters that are part of the PubMed interface. If you select these filters, they will stay on in future searches unless you unselect them. There are many additional filters that you can apply to your results, but as a note of caution, Relevant articles may be left off the results list due to the way that the filters are set up. Tip four is to review the search details. Search details show you exactly what is happening behind the scenes when you search in PubMed. You can view the details by clicking advanced under the search box and scrolling down to history and search details. In this case, PubMed identified some relevant subject headings or MeSH to go along with each concept. And PubMed also searched word variations. You can edit the search details by copying and pasting the strategy into the search box and editing the text. Finally, our last tip is to use create alert to stay current on your search topic. You can set up alerts for PubMed to notify you when new content gets added that comes up under your search strategy. You will need to create an account in NCBI to set up the alerts. And for more information, you can view our PubMed LibGuide. As a review of our top tips for getting more out of PubMed, we recommend that you connect to the full text with PubMed Linkout, translate your search for PubMed, use filters to find the most applicable articles, get to know the search details, and create alerts to stay current. You can learn more about literature searching on our LibGuide, or you can contact your local medical librarian.